Hi, nice to meet you. It's Kelsey Stell. Enjoy your stay. All credits are in the description below and are mentioned in the video. We are going to be making a scarf using the lemon peel stitch pattern by Hard Hook Home. Link to her video is in the description. Here I am just starting with the slip knot and by doing that you want to pull through and pull up. Now once you have your slip knot you want to attach it to your hook but first that's how it should look like. Sorry for the yarn. I had it for quite some time now. So hook by Santa's Boutique link is in the description. And you want to get into position, I'd say, by your tension and grip. So I'm just going behind those three fingers and aligning my yarn with the line on my index finger. So now that you have your slip knot ready, you want to chain an even number. So here I chained 20. Again, this is totally up to you on how wide you want your scarf to come out, but this is the length that I find fitting. And once you have your 20 chains, you are going to chain one at the end. So here I am just chaining one and this is how your chain should come out to be. So. What we are going to do is we're going to make a single crochet all the way down. And to do that, you just want to go into your second loop and pull up a loop, go through, and then pull through two loops. And you want to do that all the way around until I meet you back on the last stitch. So we are at that last stitch and you just want to do your last single crochet, pull up and go through those two loops. And this is how your single crochet should come out to be. So what we are going to do next is we are going to chain one. Now you're going to always chain one for the rest of this pattern. So in that first stitch, in that first V, you're going to do a single crochet. And into that second stitch, you are going to do a double crochet. And the next stitch, you're going to do a single crochet and the next a double crochet. And that's the pattern for this row. Now on that last stitch, you're always going to end with a double crochet and that's the pattern that you're going to repeat throughout the scarf. Now this is how it should be coming out. It may be a bit tricky to see the detail on the stitch, but once you get further down with your rows, you'll see the pattern come out a bit more. So I'm just going to turn my work and you can see the little bit of lemon sticking out if that makes sense. But yeah, this is how it should be looking out. Super cute. And so next we're going to move on to the second row. So I'm just putting my hook inside that loop and I'm going to always chain one and turn my work. Now, since you ended with a double crochet on the last stitch, you're always going to start with a single crochet. So you want to go into that loop, do a single crochet and into the next loop, do a double crochet. And so that's the pattern repeat and it may be a bit difficult to identify your single and double crochets, but the bigger loops are the double crochets and the smaller ones are the single crochets. Okay, so we are back to the beginning and this is how your work should come out. Go into that last stitch with a double crochet. You see those two V's sticking out? Yeah, those are your last, that's your last stitch. And what you want to do is do a double crochet and you'll be done for this row. 
This is how your work should be coming out. Now you can see a bit more of the stitch and look how beautiful that looks. You can finally see the lemon sticking out. And so once you have that ready, we're going to move on to the third row. So I'm going to put my hook back into that loop and I'm going to chain one. And you're going to repeat that process all the way through and I will meet you once I have the significant amount of rows that I need for my scarf. I am at the end of my row and what I did was just a row of single crochet. And there you go, you have your scarf already made and this is just how mine came out. I used a, a red heart ombre yarn that I found at my local Walmart and look how beautiful that is. So I made it to the length about where it reaches my hips. So you can add chains take off chains for the desired length but this is just how mine came out so the original pattern is by heart hook home make sure to check out her original video on the pattern and i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and stay tuned